So now we're going to take a look at installing Myriad. And uh, so here's my Myriad Playout installation file that we've downloaded from the website. Click on OK. Let's uh, get rid of this here so we can uh, fully see what we're doing. And here's the installation wizard for Myriad Playout 4. Click on through. If you uh, click read through the uh, click wrap license you can also print it out as well and then select I accept the terms click on next it'll ask you where you want to install the software so that's fine and then click on install and then it'll go away and start installing Myriad Playout version 4 so the installation wizard is completed click on finish there and uh, that finishes the installation. So then if we go to Myriad Playout, we can see it's created an icon here. Double click that to uh, start the uh, configuration part of it. Now uh, by default, it gives you a 30 minute evaluation mode. So uh, when we're okay with that, we can uh, click on that. Starts the setup wizard. And click on next here, type in our station. So we are Hot FM and you have the option here to say whether or it's the only radio station that is broadcast using this computer we're going to say yes that's fine and we're going to say we are studio one machine click on next now here you've got two options the use microsoft sql server recommended for live use or there is the microsoft jet file based database at the moment um, the Myriad AutoTrack doesn't support JET based databases so we're using the Microsoft SQL Server version which is the recommended version and here you go it's asking for data location for our main data so uh, this would be our server address if we were installing this on one of our workstations so uh, slash slash and then uh, the IP address of the server slash p squared slash Myriad and uh, our audio wall location we're quite happy with this one because we're just installing this locally and then here you go connect to SQL server and so there's our studio PC slash SQL Express which if you remember if you watch the installation video of the SQL server we left it being called SQL Express and uh, so we're okay with that we're going to uh, click on OK so that's the data it's the audio wall and we've also got the uh, contacts and users directory locations we can click on advanced here for more details and so you can see here file base for the directory is there and then we're also using the SQL server which is on our studio PC slash SQL Express so if that if your studio machine was called server then it would be server slash SQL Express so we're okay with that and we're going to click on next we have some options as to what role this machine plays in your station and uh, so we could say here an on-air studio not always on-air and we can also click down here automatically attempt to log in to Myriad using the Windows login so read through those options choose the one that is most suitable for your installation click it and then click on OK we're going to use simple on-air control the advanced on-air control uses uh, the Myriad S2S for split adverts and links etc so we're just going to use the simple on-air control uh, it tells us what sound devices it's going to select so uh, those have picked those so you can choose those and then next we've got no hardware cards uh, on this machine here so we're going to click on next it gives you an overview of uh, what it's going to do what it's going to install and uh, so we click on next when we're happy with that and it's uh, set to use all of that so we're just gonna change that so uh, click on yes SQL server's being reconfigured and then we're gonna click on OK and we finish doing that and then when we're happy we click on finish and uh, so software uses the p squared directory first time that you've used this login would you like to create a user called p squared so we're going to say yes thanks very much we're going to call it p squared and then p squared will log in and uh, we're in the 30 minute evaluation mode at the moment if you do have a p squared then uh, you can type it into the license so uh, let's do that now actually let's go to settings and license details and it's the licensing wizard it's the same as if you've seen version 3 and uh, so click on through next you type in your p squid I'm gonna add in my details here p squid you'll be assigned um, as a customer so here's mine and click on set and then we type in type in the names 
I'm going to uh, block out some of this so you can't see it but you'll have your details the essential ones to fill out are your name and email address when you're happy with that click on next to click in the uh, license name that you would have been set and then uh, click on set here and then you have the option here features codes you can either paste something that you have in the clipboard uh, or you can look it up online so I'm going to click on the globe here to look up online it downloads the list of the uh, license servers and picks us up a features code so once you got to your features code and uh, click on next and uh, you're asked to automatically obtain a license code using the internet and uh, so go ahead and uh, go and check with the licensing servers and uh, then you'll be all okay when that comes through it will authenticate back with uh, the mothership and uh, then you're okay and then you will be licensed